Hello, welcome back again to the MIT App Inverter Android Application Development. In this today's tutorial, I'm going to show you screen navigation. In the mobile application, we will be switching to multiple screen. So how this screen navigation is being done, I'm going to show you in this today's tutorial. So let's begin. Create a new project. Give a project name. And click OK. So here is my screen one. So I am going to post a label on which I am going to display screen 1. I am going to make it in the center and I am going to make the color change to blue and and we're going to increase the font to 24, right? So below this label, I'll add one button. Okay. If I click on this button, it will move to screen two. Okay. Similarly, if I'm going to click on button on the screen two, it will navigate to screen one. Okay. First, we'll rename this button. Okay. Let's say we'll go to screen two, sorry screen two and we'll make it bold we'll right so in order to do that as you can see I have got only screen one okay so in order to add a screen just you'll find a option as add screen just beside the label screen one click on add screen and we have got screen name as screen two just click ok if you want to rename you can rename the screen name now we'll move to screen two as you can see screen two is empty we'll add a label as we have done in the screen one this is screen 2 and we'll make it red ok font is going to be 24 center screen alignment horizontal we'll add button to the screen 2 and we'll rename the text on the button go to screen 1 if you click on this button it will navigate to screen 1 ok so first let's move to screen 1 go to block and click on button 1 when button 1 is clicked it has to navigate to screen 2 so here we will find an option called control ok these are the built in option under blocks but we don't have this component under blocks until unless we manually add ok go to controls you will find an option as open another screen screen name just drag it under button dot click go to text take an empty text give screen name over here screen 2 similarly in the screen 2 button 1 dot click and go to controls 
under control you will find option as open another screen screen name text and screen name screen one okay we have done now we can build the app provide QR code for APK click on it it will take a while to generate a QR code now it's done now you require to scan this barcode using your barcode scanner mobile application and you will see that the application is going to get download and you may install and use the application if you click on go to screen 1 sorry screen 2 it will navigate to screen 2 page if you click on screen go to screen 1 on the screen 2 it will navigate to screen 1 so that's all about this tutorial thank you